Welcome to the Invasion Session 5. I'm Ryan, the GM. It's the 13th of May, 2020. I uh, guess here are the players. Hi there, my name's Gregor. I'm going to be playing Adair, an Air Genasi, who's a bit of a rogue. Hi, I'm Callum M. I am playing Cognac the Tortle, who is pretty happy. Good evening, I'm Alexander, and tonight I'll be playing Fleabite the Skaven, who's pretty terrible at it. Oh, we're missing the end of your sentences, but that's fine. Hello, I am Ewan, and I'll be playing Lyuda, the Loxodon Druid, who's about to get into a bit of an entangling situation. Oh dear. <laughs> Hi there. I'm Callum B, and I'll be playing Thea, the Priestess of Chaos, and lover of all things. Wow. I was wondering where that was going there. Yeah, Challenge accepted. Yeah. Very assuredly. <laughs> um, I, was, I, was, I was unsure where that was going to end up, but the, here we are. Yep. Is it if everybody oh. on Roll20 can brave the setting change so that your as is set to your character name as well? Yep. That would be nice. Uh, oh, yes, good point. And we shall see. Also, while we're waiting on that, what do you remember from a last time? Amnesia. Amnesia. Terrible sailing. <laughs> terrible sailing. A month's worth of terrible sailing. Sail. I learned nothing. Foxy and ratty scouting. Mm. Foxy and rat. <laughs> <laughs> Crime Bad navigation. <laughs> no breathing. Bunch punching. Shin punching, shin kicking. Yeah. I did. Uh, anything else then? Yeah. Um, Bad navigation. Scouty wouty. Killy. Spent like three turns getting in range to do anything in a fight. Hey, uh, that's what happens when you're a <laughs> sneaky elephant. Yeah. <laughs> I got hit once and lost <laughs> half my health. Yes. Bad time. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you're a turtle. But to be fair, you were standing very dangerously close to Alvin, who somehow didn't kill you. So I would say <laughs> you did well. I almost got a grease up though. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I take that as an absolute win. I, if I fell in the grease, I could totally see me retreating into my shell and spinning around <laughs> on the grease. <laughs> this isn't Mario, although Alvin is distinctly oh, wow! close. <laughs> um, visually. Just don't let him near your plumbing. And, uh. Oh, uh Does that make him <laughs> cognac Bowser? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, I guess so. You know, we already have Princess Thea, you know. Life's a peach, right? Life is a peach. Oh dear gods. Ooh. Why these gifts are so accessible, uh, I don't know. What? <laughs> yeah. Like, Someone has safe what? search turned off. <laughs> it's like a lava lamp, isn't it? I anyway. can't stop watching. Um, what lava lamps did you have? Do you know what? Sexy ones, obviously. To... <laughs> if there's any other kind? Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, I'm dear. just going to stick the, the game manager over, over the, the yeah, over right, the like, chat part. What, so what? I can still see everyone's faces, but ignore the chat. So normally Discord steals loads of my ideas when I just say them in casual conversation, so here's hoping this continues, because I would love it that you can set things to be spoilers uh, when you're posting them, but as like a server admin I can't just make things become spoilers so that people have to click the reveal button to actually see the post. I want that as a feature, because I'd love to just cover this Bowser up. Like, I'm happy for him to stay there for other people to enjoy his majesty, but I don't feel... I mean, I feel I very need... distracted. Yeah, like, I don't need it. I think I'm going to get rid of him. Whoop. Every day? Uh, good, thank you. <sighs> I didn't even do that. Thank you very much, uh, Callum. So... Is there anyone else missing the dancing? I'm missing the dancing. <laughs> My life just doesn't have meaning anymore. <laughs> Um, I'm, I, for one, am glad of the lack of dancing. Um, for now, at least. Right, uh, goals. Let's talk about those things that everybody's Yay! super, super eager to talk about. Um, yes, indeed. Mm. So, is anyone 
updating or changing the goals? No, I have a goal in mind. Oh my. Lead the oh. way. Um, I have gloves that are useful and great, but I am never going to use them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I would like the goal to swap these gloves for another enchanted item of some kind. I see. Whether it's obtaining or um, handing off, as long mm. as I get something in return that is, in fact, powerful. <laughs> that could be interesting. Mm. Okay, so you would like to trade the gloves for something Yes. you deem worthy? Yes, worthy of turtle, turtle, time, dance. Okay. Some enchanted loafers would be great. <laughs> um, yeah, just like never wet loafers or something like that, yeah? Like, yeah. so you can just wear them never into think. the ocean. Never yeah. think. Loafers? I thought you said gophers. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> both wearable as slippers if you're brave enough. Like, um, <laughs> Alright, type it in then. Pop it in your goal, yeah? Like, I think that's something this you could try and achieve. the troubling part, actually wording it. Yeah, right. The horrible mind game between player and GM. <laughs> well, I'm going to volley my first shot. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. Right, while you're typing away, I'm going to just see if MDLS is wanting to check in on the old goal front. Nope, that was easy. Mine might change by the <laughs> well, end of the session, uh, but... Nope, that's not too late. Missed that's it. it. I'm no, but I'm not going to change that. Right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What were you thinking anyway? Why do you think it might need to change? Well, it depends how long it's going to take us to get to Runestad. <laughs> I think all might be get to Runestad. <laughs> <laughs> no, remember I told off uh, Alvin. Yeah, I know. Because I'm like, Alvin, it's good. To, like, more so this session than previous sessions, right? His goal is unlikely to happen. <laughs> oh, he's exactly right. I forgot that's what his fans call it. Right? Can you Keep now the party on the bathroom instead? Okay, well. Can you now see why right. it's a bad goal? Like, oh, I can see why it's a bad goal. Yeah. Now and before yeah. and in the future. He has just carried on walking and ignored the. I don't. I hope not, because he's a, he's in a grease puddle at the moment, and uh, <laughs> like. Did he take a, a step grease backwards? puddle? <laughs> yeah, it's a grease puddle. I mean. Oh dear. I like that Alvin's the liability in the group. I'm not going to lie. You'd have thought it might have been the Skaven from being a Skaven. Or maybe oh. the fact that we've got like somebody from Asshole Elephant Land. Or perhaps <laughs> the Priestess of Chaos X Pirate. Nope. None of these people. Nope. Just it's the teacher's assistant. <laughs> just, yeah, the disgraced academic. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, also, hello Scott. Hopefully you listened this far and didn't skip ahead. Um, right, let's see. I'll be leaving you secret messages so you better listen. Mm. It's going to listen to all of our shit talking, you know. Secret message. Right, I, I dare happy to learn to navigate using the stars still, yeah? I am indeed. Yeah. Well, I'm going to keep trying to. Make... Yeah, yeah, makes sense. I, right, I think I know where north is now. After I'm, a month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, you'd think so, argument. but like, yeah, like, mm, do we though, mm. given how bad it's been? I'm just going to score out Alvin's goal now because let's face it, it's just, yeah. I think we know. Uh, mm. Right, so trading my gloves in for a new set of enchanted item. I, I'm just going to. It's like Cogdrex saying that. Yeah, I'm just going to. Just going to do that, right? Does that make more sense? Mm -hmm. You're not Cognac. Did it, did it change? It did. It blinked and I didn't even notice. There you go. That's how efficient the change was. <laughs> <laughs> um, you put in for a new set of enchanted item. Uh, yeah. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I just okay. removed that part where I was like yeah. trading in, yeah. trading my gloves in for a new enchanted item. Okay. So trading my gloves in for the entire death set. Hypothetically, <laughs> if I give my gloves to a member of the party and then buy a new enchanted item, does that count? No. You could possibly trade with somebody else in the party. 
you're not getting my magic stick. See, I don't think I'd get something from anyone else. Somebody might have, have a, magic a stick. plus one AC cape. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't even know what like his spots do, so... Here is my magic stick! Holds up pen. <laughs> Does anyone actually have a plus one AC cape? Cause... I do. Would you be willing to tra trade it? Depends what the gloves or... do. We'll have to role play mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. We'll decide later. I like, though, the idea that at some point, right, Noble Cognac paid, f you know, was gifted by the uh, the Council of Little Bellinor. God, I don't remember all these place names now. <laughs> gifted by the Council of Little Bellinor. Um, some fancy, like, noble gloves. With no hint of whatever you'd actually want. Just being like, well, clearly you're of a n noble house, and nobody looked at you when they assigned this payment, so here you are. Mr. Turtle. Yeah, so you don't want to be touching things with your bare hands. Yeah, because you've got turtle hands, not bare hands. Yeah. I was literally <laughs> just about to say that. It's such low hanging fruit, you have right? Bare fist? I know, it's, it's right there. Oh. I need my therapist. I made a character in a Zweihander. I just as an ex as like in a like a, an exercise yesterday and uh, the birth sign and my doom of spring, as it were, because that's a thing. There's like a foretelling, and it's a, my my prophecy was a avoid low hanging fruit, and here I am just flouting the rules. That guy's obviously gonna die. Um, anyway, all right, we've got flea bite who has win a wager against a deer. Oh yes. Um, yes yes. Right. We'll stop in the middle of the battle and just. Have a wee game of cards. I was going to say, the reason why I, and I mentioned this last time, I don't like it. I'm going to put in one word that Alexander might not like, but I need for it to be a, a goal. Ooh. Ah. Right. <laughs> the word significant. Um, I mean, one copper is very highly significant to flea bite. That means nothing to me, so I wouldn't play a game for a copper. So, the significant part, right, if I need to expound upon that, is something that Fleabite feels is something that he has managed to get over on someone else while the other person needs to feel a loss of some kind. That is significant. Pride? Dignity? <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> I mean, again, like, if only you and him are aware then it's not significant, right? If it's a pride thing. Because that can just be denied. But if it's actually something that others witness and it is a mark against someone's like attitude because they think they're all that or whatever, then yeah, that would be considered. Can you see why it needs that word, significant? But I told you, it just it's it's going to be discussed as and when we, we get there. Because who knows if it's even going to be valid. If we get there. As and when. As and when. Um, louder. Find out the identity of who saved us from the initial invasion. Okay. Okay, yeah. Who's done? And Thea. That is. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, my laptop's really slow. Um, Yes, get the party transport back to little Bellinor once her business is done in Moonstad. I like it because almost, almost in order, these goals could have been, right? In terms of completion. Um, but yeah, okay, yeah, bonds. Let's have a look at those. Uh, anybody changing bonds. or updating bonds yet? Because we had a chat about them at the end of last session. I don't think anything, unless people have had epiphanies since last session. I've just realised my bond with Adair. I've written it. Half of it is written in first mm -hmm. person, and half mm -hmm. of it's written in third person. I feel like that's suited for Thea, though. Yeah. Changed mine. What did you Yeah, is a terrible sailor. To Theria is a really terrible sailor. I like it. But she's not. Just bad at navigation. Distracted. No. And no, actually, she was very good at sailing. No, no. You were, just you were, getting you were, to where she was. You were a reasonable captain. But as a sailor, you were terrible. No, no, no. I disagree. <laughs> Thea disagrees with you all. That is her right, but also so is 100 damage. So, here we are. Um, it's fine, she can take it. Can she, though? I don't think she can. She 
she thinks she can. Probably. Um, <laughs> right, any other changes to the bonds, or are we good? All good. Yeah, sounds like everything's yeah, good. good. Yeah, good, good, good. Excellent. Uh, right, well, I guess, without further Alvin, uh, we will just move back to hopefully the correct map. It was! <laughs> just give it about 10 years for it to, to render. There we go. It's rendered for me at least. Did anyone have any issues getting on? Yeah, let's not discuss it. We're just going to ignore any problem for all 20 may or may not have had and just play with it as long as we have it, because we might not have it. Didn't exist! It. Okay. So, uh, Cogmac? Mm. So, I'm enraged. Um, Me too. Done with this sort of thing. I know this sort of thing. Careful now. <laughs> you're a racist now, Father. I hear you're a racist now, Father. <laughs> Good for you! Um, Should we all be racist now, Father? <laughs> Could I uh, start off with my Siora and aim it at this fellow here? I, I don't know. How does it work? It's the th it's the lightning that I will share in chat. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. Roll a d6 on a failed deck save. Um, when does it come up after it's been activated? Because it's already on, right? So when it's activated, you can choose one creature. You can see in your aura. I it must make a deck saving throw, blah blah blah. Okay, there we go. Right, so... Okay, so you can activate the effect each again each bonus. of your turns. It's bonus action. Uh, right, okay, so what's the DC? Mmm. Mm. 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 Remember I'm, all that admin? Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. It was 13 from memory, but... So but DC... It'll be at the top of your sheet. Plus your proficiency bonus pressure, it's 12. So my proficiency bonus is 2, and then my constitution is 2. Okay, yeah, and it starts at 8. So yeah, cool. So, yeah. do you want to write that in somewhere? Do you want to just, maybe at the bottom of your aura, go actually into the cog this time, and edit it, and add DC 12 in? And that way the thing you told me off for last week. Uh, no, because you read it in the editing mode, and that is wrong, so stop that. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to click the red name and it opens it to read it. That is the correct oh, way. I'll just put 12 at the bottom right now. Yeah, DC 12 is what you want to write. Cool. And that is against that dude there, right? So let me just point out with an arrow. This guy. Yes, that fellow. That good, that good friend right there. Why, hi, guy. <laughs> Friend, someone, anyway. And uh, what type of save is it? It is a deck save, right? Maybe I want to add that in as well for your, your notes, even though it should be relatively obvious. Should Shall do. Um, Shall do, chap. Well, pretty sure that's less than 12. So. Hold on, let me do the math. <laughs> cool. Do you want to so... roll a d6? Yep. Damage! Oh. Boom. And take it, he does. <coughs> yes! <laughs> Point my finger and lightning strikes, but fizzles out. Why is quick. your rage not here? How long did your rage last for again? I feel like... In ten turns. So, why sure. is your rage not actually on this list? Have you only... Like, I feel like you've been raging for a few, like at least... At least I raged on my second turn. Mm. We've had like three turns of combat. Why is it not an item on here already? I don't actually get that part. Okay. Did I enrage incorrectly? 
Uh, no, it's just something that should be an item already. That, that, that in the turn order, it's disappeared. Yeah, like it was there. I, I'm, I'm hmm? fairly certain, but yeah, I, th I thought it was there too, but apparently not. Um, right, so I think it's on eight at the moment. Then I find that agreeable. Yeah, I think it's at eight. Um, if somebody fancies going through the entire chat log, <laughs> uh, do so. I don't. So. Uh, okay. Yep, so that is your bonus action done. What else? What else do you got for me? Do I have? Well. You Are we action. just ignoring Alvin? Does, does he exist? Alvin's still there. He's still a problem. Hmm. Is uh, he going to be taking part in combat? No. No. So we're just going to... So he can still get hit, but he can't do anything. Just assume he's been kind of knocked unconscious or something, right? Like, just... Okay. The trick is to he's narratively... I call it narratively excusing the players that can't be here. So you just have to accept that and move on. Just move past yeah. it. Just, just look over him, if you will. I look to my side. I'm dying a lot. <laughs> he is there. Um, well, I guess I'll just have a big swing with my great... My great hammer... Warhammer thingy. Your Warhammer, yeah. The fellow here. Okie dokie. You swing away. Swing away. Swing away with me. It Remember misses. That hit or not. It misses. Just dying. Yeah. And I end my turn in defense mode. <laughs> you do have um, <laughs> movement. Remember. I'm not really entirely certain where I'd go though. Like, so the only person you need to worry about would be this guy. So, like, yeah. obviously, if you assume a normal range, so long as you don't leave that, you could yeah. really go anywhere. You don't probably don't want to go in there because I don't, yeah, I don't Greece has there. like this many turns left. Hence why Alvin's still in the tracker. Mm. So yeah, but this. If this guy's only got this range, assumedly, if this guy's only got this range, assumedly, which means you would be free to like walk there and like anywhere along those places, really. Only if you cared enough about it. But you don't have to. It's just within your capabilities. All good? Yeah. Okay. Alvin, I looks confused. A oh dear. Right. So I am going to start by moving. Um, A fine choice. Yes. Let me see. Yes. I'm going to just move ten feet so as I can use my hand crossbow. So let me. Wake be up my laptop. A bit difficult to run on that one, but that should be fine, yeah. So Fair be, enough. So it would be like 15 to get there. But you'd have enough to get there and get back, right? If you've got 30, so. Okay, um... Oh, come on, computer. I've even plugged it into the hub, and it's still acting up. Did that work? Uh, let's see. Appears to have worked on mine, but I don't know if yeah. everyone else has seen that. Yes, cool. Uh, so now that I'm within range, I'm going to make a shot at ah, one of the guys. I would show you, but my computer is really slow, so I'm going to apologize. Specifically, um, comic. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to be shooting at that guy. Uh, which one? Okay, yep, cool. Is that the one that right, is it right in front That's of Cognac? Or is it the one uh Yes, the one right in front of him. Cool. Not the one that was just attacked. The... Okay, so then not the one right in front of him. Um, so this guy? No, not that one. That one? That one. Okay, cool. He was the one that was just attacked. But he was hit with lightning, this oh, guy was swung at. Yeah. 
Maybe that's ah, why. Ah, right. That's what I'm confused at. Recipient um, of a successful attack and avoider of a failed attack. <laughs> it was not failed. It was just misaligned. <laughs> sure. From success. So, yeah. Misguided. Uh, right, what range are you from where you are? Um, uh, you're, that's fine, you're 25. It's a coin. I'm just going to move you back one so you're not hanging off a cliff, just so you know. Oh, that's absolutely fine with me. Because otherwise I'd make your roll and fall down the hill eventually. But uh, <laughs> I'd maybe let you have the shot first. Um, Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. I Let me just double check this guy's stuff. I... Do you remember what you rolled for stealth last time? I'm going to have a quick f nosy back up the, the the tree here to see if I can find if we've got... Because you, you're still apparently stealth, but I don't think you actually are stealth. I was hating one of my... Uh, if memory serves, it's one of my things as a rogue. I can... Uh, bonus action of either disengage, hide, or something. Oh. Yeah, but I don't actually see a stealth roll in our chat for you, so oh. yeah. Oh no, it's it's I fine. Uh, I've got one. It's a nine, but it was like we've had turns since then, which is interesting. Um, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna still work off the nine because I don't see an, up an updated one since then. Um, Okey doke. And if that is the case... Well, Deer hasn't had a turn since that night. Yeah, but... Cognac has, and if Cognac's at the top of the order, that's odd, right? Hmm. Interesting. But... It's fine. We'll just deal with it. So, if it was, it was a 9. Put it that way. Um, cool. Uh, right, so you're up there. I, you're hitting I am. the guy in front of Cognac, and you are within normal range, I, so it would be a normal shot because this person is aware you are there. Hello. And I shoot. Hoppa. Nice. And you hit. Okay. I'll take your word because that mine hasn't updated yet. <laughs> okay, so then you don't, then. <laughs> no, I heard other people say I did, so I'm taking their word. Madness. Uh, yeah, he can. Oh, I do. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. I, I see it. <laughs> uh, right. Click on your hand and crossbow button on the chat, and it should give uh, us some damage. It should be coming through. I did click and go. it's gone red. Did it, it come did. through? It did. I see you're applying sneak attack damage as well, as is your given right, although, yep. Totally legal. Yep. So that is twelve damage. Yeah. Cool. Ooh. What is sneak attack damage if he wasn't if he wasn't stealth? If someone's next to him, it still counts. Yes, so that's why it's still legal. Within five yeah. feet. Yep. So the way it works is for anyone that has like roguelike abilities, if uh, you have advantage on the attack roll against someone, right? For whatever reason, you can apply sneak attack damage to the roll, or if an enemy of the target is engaging them, like within five feet. Doesn't need to be right. your ally, just somebody they don't like, because it's, it counts thematically your as a distraction. Is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, which is nice. I like that. It's very gif uh, kind wording. Uh, right, so 12. Let me add that in. Nicely done. Uh, staying put or um yes I shall stay up here. Um Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. kind of and put pure little hidey face. That's what I'm gonna do. There we go. Mm. So that was some move and an action. Mm. Uh, what else would you like to do? Um from where I am I don't have another attack. But you could attempt but to hide again if you wanted. I was contemplating that. Yeah. Um, is it a cunning action that allows me to do that? Yep. Yes. Uh, so yes, I will do my. Yep. Do, give me a stealth roll when you can. Right. Come on, computer. Because there's enough like height advantage and foliage up there. 
Oh, and look at that. Nice. Did it come through? Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a good roll. <laughs> it's, much better than the, it's much better than the nine, for that way. Um, let me put in Oh, this. yeah, there we go. This is TF5. This is my notes. Okay, and then I'll put down my stealth tracker for you. And you are a deer. And you're currently on 25. Okay. Excellent. And I, should I put a little thing on my guy yeah, again? So, yep, I've just removed the one that you put on it. He looks like a little ninja, but like from Abe's Odyssey. Cool. I shall do that as soon as my computer allows me to mm -hmm. see it. <laughs> cool. And then Lauda. Hello. With, with about 20 things on the go. Yeah. That's um, a long list. I know. I have a lot of things going. This is maybe like why I didn't put Rage on there. Hmm. See, I don't know. Maybe Cognac wasn't raging. Who knows these things? Um, <laughs> I've just been. I realise they're all in the turn order. <laughs> yeah, they have to be because yeah. they obviously have limits. They're not in um, your video from last time. Uh, interesting. Did you watch it to the end when he cast them all at the end? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, I can see them on both screens just now, so that's odd. I Actually, I can, I can see them on all three screens that I'm looking at just now. Fancy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sure. Okay. And then... Yeah, I think that guy. I am going to use my inspiration. Oh my. And I'm going to thorn whip this guy. A thorn whip. 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 whip him real good. What range is thorn whip? Uh, 30 feet. Nice. Where do you like me to uh... do the thing? Uh, yep. Yeah. It. Oh, I misses. forgot to advantage it. Do, just roll again, just click, the, just click the button again. Still misses. Darn it. Yep. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> That's mm. me. Okay, okay. And then. Shillelagh counts down. Hawk Totem counts down, and Tangle counts down, <laughs> and Thea is here. Hello! <laughs> Welcome <coughs> to Thea. Yeah. So the first thing Thea is going to do is she's going to cast a spell. Oh my. Uh, she's going to cast Infestation. Oh my. Uh, on that guy. Right, okay. Glad it wasn't me. <laughs> uh, you have to bear with me. Uh, I don't know if it's... I've clicked it, I don't know if it's... We'll wait. Through, yeah. Don't worry, we'll wait. Standing by. Okay, so I need to make a con save. Yes. Okay. I, on that, dude. Let's see. Uh, boop. Yep. Okay, that's fine. Nothing happens. Cool. Um, <clears throat> as a... How is... How, how is... Like, what, what, what does she see? Like, is... Does Cognac look particularly not healthy um, or I mean yeah, it's definitely. I think from where you are it's probably quite difficult to tell because currently Cognac has his shell to you right Yeah. and there's you're probably more distracted because you've been looking at the bolts of lightning flying off of him yep yeah, that's fine but um, um, when you were last hit Cognac was there anything she would have seen or heard I to literally Said, "Ow, um, I think, I think it. Um, I didn't say like anything about how much it hurt, but I did say, ow. And I, I feel like it's unlikely you would know anything about his condition at this point. Then, based That's on fine. the RP given okay. thus far, yes. <laughs> My initial plan was to to give a heal to Alvin, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm trying to." Yeah, I think I've got a funny feeling that 
Alvin probably did take the disengage action, right? And move back to where the cannon is. I assume so. And, um, I mean, let's find out if they would have fell, right? What is his goddamn spell thing? Is, is it a, some kind of bizarre save? Grease. Uh, let's have a quick note to get this and we'll see. It's a deck save, I'm pretty sure. Uh, not sure. A Could deck save against 13, right? So can he make his own save? A dex save, please. No, he can't. So he'd have fell on his ass. So we can all take great comfort in that. As he yep. then rolled the rest of the way over. Rolled away. Did his um, bag open? Because that was a problem last time. <laughs> Gravity bombs <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Dead students <laughs> fly out in form. <laughs> fire erupts. I cast faculty. Nope. <laughs> yep. Anyway, Thea. What are you up to? Uh, yeah, and she's going to... Uh, can she... Hold on. Can she stand there, or does that count as on the cliff? Hey, move your cursor. It's probably half and half, isn't it, really? So, yeah, I think you could stand there if you're, like, half up the cliff, or starting to, like, go up it, yeah. How much movement is that to get to there? 20. Cool, so it's 25, really. Cool. Uh, cool. She's gonna go there. Yeah, cool. Oh, that's fine. Uh, and that is it. Okay. And then that dude. I think the red thing was because of his reaction. That makes sense based on my color coding. That's why I color code things so I don't really have to remember things. And uh, yeah, well, he saw somebody try and whip somebody from a bush, so he's probably gonna. Trying to deal with it. Right, so he's in entangle. What do I need to deal with on my yeah, turn? Just movement. Cool. So as long as he doesn't move, everything's yeah. fine. It's just uh, bad terrain now for cool. him. And what about the restrained guy? Uh, he needs to make a DC save. Uh, no, no, not in his turn. I'm talking about this dude. Oh, he's he uh, going to attack the restrained guy. I think uh, he classes as. I know, guys, I imagine this, like, homework for what, how your powers interact with everything. Did you not right? get advantage? No, I did know this. I'm pretty sure I'm it's no advantage. Way. I just okay. want to check. Oh, I'm not having a go at you. you know, I'm assuming He's restrained, yeah. Having a go at everyone. Yeah, why not? Just even myself, right? Damn it, GM. He classes as restrained. Okay, which means? Whatever the rules of restrained are, I'm assuming it's an advantage <laughs> in the attack. <laughs> okay. Um, it is. Google it. You don't have to Google yes, it. I gave you a cheat sheet. I know, but I didn't open it today. Well, whose fault's that? Mine, I know. Mm -hmm. I'm terrible. Mm -hmm. There's also a compendium. You could just type restrained. You could. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't give him ideas. Okay, so I guess then he gets to have a go at the restrained guy, because why not? Am so I, attack uh, one. Nope. It's gonna just go for it again, attack two, yep. What's that? Some kind of other number? Twenty-four? Twenty-four. Yep. Cool. And then probably just him again, because it feels nice rolling with advantage. I mean I was gonna give him an advantage if he went for anybody. Twenty eight. Okay, cool. Uh, that guy. I need to get rid of that sheet because my screen real estate is in the way. Bam. Nice. Yes. Yeah. I was going to say, if he survived, I was going to strongly suggest everyone get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. So, Mr. Man here. Take the crap out of him. Thus concludes his turn. And that guy's life. Flea bite. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, I would like to. When you move into someone's like zone of control, they don't get an attack of opportunity. To no, only, if you only, move out of only it. leaving it, yes. Just 
be aware, it's a very greasy place. <laughs> um, and um, and you can't move through people. So, for instance, I so you can move through friendlies, so long as you don't stop on them. You need enough movement to pass them, but you cannot move through enemies, depending heavily on size category and GM leeway. I am permeable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I think I would like to... Because I think you're sitting on a stealth of 12 in the tree at the moment. Oh, okay. Does that indicate that they would be able to see me? <laughs> uh, well, un until you do something, Right? You wouldn't know. Um, so, just, um, okay. Remind me to check up with you out of game time. Sure. But Alexander, I I will. after the game, <laughs> you should check up with me on something that's important to you, apparently. Cool. cool. Then can, I, I, can I give him information as another player that the DM wouldn't necessarily want to give him? Um, Basically, they need to roll to see if they see him when he makes an action. Okay, well, that's not going to change what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to move um, down the tree and to... Uh, or I guess it's the same so, movement. So, remember we had this conversation then, right? So, you're yeah. either dropping and trying an acrobatic roll to not take damage from landing, or you'd spend, like... In fact, no, you just need to roll, I guess, to climb down, right? Or drop down, whatever you are trying. So dropping down saves you some movement. Climbing down would use the movement and the skill check to make sure you manage it, right? Um, but either way, I need to do an acrobatics. Uh, or athletics, but yes, either way you'd want to. You can just choose not to roll and take the damage, right? But... Then, yeah, I'll... So you want to drop down or climb down? That's the, the important bit. That's the move. I mean, I feel like um, flea bite would probably just drop. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's not the best way, but it's probably the flea bite way. Yeah. <laughs> no one's ever told you you can climb down things. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I could climb like up ball. without climbing, I'm sure. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so you're also set to GM. So you don't need to be, you don't need to be that stealthy, but yeah, you rolled an eight, everybody. Oh, nice one! <laughs> which good, good, good job, son. Which has a bonus to it, which means he's actually you rolled a one. Hmm. Oh, wow. oh god! <laughs> and Although, minus seven. How is, your, how is your acrobatics a plus seven? So he hit every branch on the way down. That's my because I could put it into like two other things, or I could put everything into acrobatics. Ah. And I knew I was climbing a lot of trees, and so I was like, yes. "Acrobatics, it is." Okay, cool. So that is that one of your rogue okay. expertise things, then? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Cool. That makes sense. I was like, "How do you get such a good bonus on that?" I see. And then you roll a one anyway. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Give me two seconds. Break your legs. Uh, that's, that's the team spirit. Yeah, right. It's it's totally fine. <laughs> it smells like team spirit. Uh, okay, so do you wanna? <laughs> no. Um, do you wanna just roll a d6 for uh, everybody to see? I'm just gonna let you roll the fall damage on yourself, Fleabite. There you go. <laughs> so that I can roll high. <laughs> How come he gets a five and I get a one? Well, yours was against the enemy, and obviously I want that to be low. And his was against himself, so of course it's high. <laughs> I think I have taken more damage from falling than anything else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just take five damage. Right yeah, exactly. Five damage to you, but then you've got your full range of movement now. Am I still in the same space? Um, no. So here's the, the thing. Right, you rolled a one, which means... And you're going to hate me for it, but you're probably going to guess. 
when you land. Because you didn't mm -hmm. land. So when you say I have my full range of movement. <laughs> yes, which you can now spend half of to get up. Um, can I crawl? Uh, probably. Do you know the rules of crawling? Uh, ten foot by five foot crawled. Sure. Okay, so I had planned on doing something completely different, but I feel since Fleabite just completely borked that, so I changed his <laughs> plan. Um, so, uh, can I... So I was just going to crawl um, here. Um, so that would be, I would have 10 feet off my movement, is that correct? Eh, uh, sure. Yep, that would be right. Um, and then, can I still stand up? I did this in a strange order, but <laughs> go with it. I was like, well, why? So you've got, what, 30 feet speed normally, right? Yeah, yeah. And then get rid of 10 for your strange crawl, and then get rid of 15 for standing up. So you've still got, what, 5 left? Yeah. Yep, cool, yep, okay. that works. You can get rid of both those icons as well. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got 5 foot of movement left. And if you're shooting at that guy, he's probably got cover from the tree that you're, you just fell down. I'm not planning on shooting. Okay. I love teamwork. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess from your point of view, you've got a bit of a storm raging around you. Grease has exploded from your colleague who's flew backwards, and you turn around and uh, a rat just <laughs> out of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even know he was there. <laughs> Like it's, it's it's all it's all glorious so far. Never mind the clusterfuck of lightning. druid that happened in front of you. Beyond My your mate, purple lightning hasn't lit up the eye hole yet. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, could I cast silent image? I uh, probably since that's a thing you can do, right? Yep. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> as my my action. Right. Um, and summon, basically, um, another flea bite. Okay. God. Right. To take away the embarrassment from falling out of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> so, see on the, this. Alright, so we're in, I'm in your character sheet just now, so don't freak out. Right. And then we're going to go here. Right. And then we're going to click this. Right. Because that's what you want to do. Um, we're going to have a look at it. So, if you want to do that. It's concentration up to 10 minutes, and then all of the rest of that text comes into effect. All right? So, yeah. Where would you like it to go anywhere within 60 feet of you? <laughs> it's amazing thought. Yeah, here. Uh, sure, right, yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. Um, just to clarify, um, it can move. Does that cost my movement? So... You can use your action to cause the image to move right. yep, to any spot good. within range. Yeah, but my action was to summon it, so I can't do that. Correct. Yep. Yeah. So basically you can almost have to puppet master it a bit. No, that's fine. Um, okay, and now the question I should have asked <laughs> you like, any time in the last week. Um, does concentration... Um, Includes my ability to hide. Eh, uh, that's a very good question. No, I don't think so. I think you can still hide in a bush while thinking about a spell, right? So, I don't, it's like, yeah. 
Sorry, Just... that sounded dirty to me for some reason. I mean, yeah, <laughs> if you like. Um, Death fell but, on me. But like, if you've if you've got your back up against a tree while you're like chanting your mantra in your head, that's like a bit different, right? Um, it's just, I guess, yeah, my answer just move on. <laughs> so, will I roll for stealth? Uh, if you want to use your one of your many additional actions to do so, yeah. <laughs> so my two rolls, a natural one and a natural twenty. Hey, at least they're all natural, <laughs> buddy. At least they're all natural. Uh, um, I'll update your stealth then. Uh, there we go. Yep, don't worry, Fleabite will be the death of Fleabite. I think we know this. Mm. <laughs> okay, what's your DC for the spell? Um, oh, it's not very high. It is nine. <laughs> so just type in D DC nine then for me. <laughs> okay. Or but if they, you know, interact with it, then. So yeah, like. We'll we'll get to that. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get to that. Uh, right. Ah. <sighs> So, a holographic rat appears behind this dude. So, also, Cognac, you shouldn't need that red pip anymore because you've had a turn since you reacted, right? So, you're like, you're good. Was that not his rage? No, his rage is the, no. the man. Ah, man with the gun. Red pips are Told a first interaction. Yep. <laughs> is the feedback massive? No, it's the size of Fleabite, right? Which is small, so it's probably difficult to see past this guy, in fact. Um, and then, yeah. Oh, I could have done a massive Fleabite, though. Yeah, that's what I was, what you were doing. <laughs> a giant Fleabite to take away the... <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Next yeah. time, Fleabite for double the size. Uh, I could be four, almost four times the size. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Fleabite. Um, so everyone's going to attack that, right? So is that like Flea Chomp at that point? Or is it like... Flea Chomp? Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like the flea part's bite. maybe what has to change, not the bite part, maybe. Elephant bite. Yeah. Leviathan bite is his final form. Or behemoth, <laughs> behemoth bite. Um, He's basically just a Pokemon. Yeah, just evolving. Um, however, <laughs> here's the downside of Flea Bite's build, though. Uh, this guy's passive ability to notice shit is better than Fleabite's DC. So, I, yeah. I was going to say something like, what's the upside of Fleabite's build? But uh, <laughs> He's actually like, he's quite tanky for a sneaky boy. And he's quite a sneaky boy for a tanky boy. Yeah, He's just not optimised for anything he does Pretty beyond hiding in trees. <laughs> um, which he falls out of on occasion. Um... <laughs> But now you can't even see him, so it doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> it's just how it goes. Uh, right, so the guy next to Cognac is going to have a go. Uh, uh, let's see, where is it? So He's lordy, lordy, lordy. Against you, Waba. Ouch. Boom. Yeah. Ouch. Wow. I think you might be able help now. Remember. You half damage when you're raging for certain types. Oh, I can flick. Uh, so. Which is important. Is it round down? Yeah, it's it's always round down. Yep. So 13. 12. And I yes. Oh, I can't click on my heart. There we go. Updated. I definitely scream out in pain. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> I mean, what hmm. does that sound like? <laughs> uh, a screaming turtle, I think. Um, that's exactly what it sounds like. Down the mic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I would appreciate not having my drums exploded uh, by turtle impressions. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind distressed turtle impressions. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then it takes a second attack. Ooh. 
I have an AC of 20. Mm -hmm. You still have the slashing, remember? No, it doesn't matter. I know. I know, buddy. So, go to zero. Pep. Uh -oh. Pip your buttons. Which one do I pip? So, we unpip Rage, and we put on Skull and Crossbones in the booty. And in the booty. I'm looking for booty. There we go. So yeah, this uh, warrior man swishes his sword twice. Cognac goes down. There is a brief moment of distressed turtle in the middle. And down he goes. And then the rest. So he'll then It's gonna head over there. And he's gonna one shot me. He's gonna go there and he's gonna have a go at it. Oh boy. That uh -oh. misses. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Are you just <laughs> I'm so nervous, I'm gonna die. Oh, yeah, that probably hits. <laughs> probably hits. I mean I feel yeah. like it does. Um I mean yes. 12. Cool. No. Oh. oh, it's really annoying, right? Thea's <laughs> right yeah. behind the... No, it's it's because the, the toolbar was right in the way, so I kept clicking the toolbar instead of the, the health. Is that a... Uh, minus 12. Are you sure? Oh. No, wait. No. <laughs> oh, but are you sure, then? No. I've been waiting for this meme for this whole thing. Yes, no, it's not. It's the uh, rounded down, right? Mm hmm So that's ten. Yes. Oh, you have resistance to psychic. Cool. Mm -hmm. No, I almost put my health as ten. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's close enough, but... Yeah, it's one you off. Know, you yeah. Remember, yeah. remember our last one session off, when you said not many people that... have resistance to psychic? Yeah, but that's also because that's a, a fairly new race, right? Because yeah, cool. they came in when a whole bunch of stuff for intelligence and psychic stuff got added in because intelligence saves were just not really a thing in the game until they brought in a bunch of psychic powers. So, uh, yeah. So, basically, Thea, you are the opposite of what Cognac is when raging because yes. he is resistant to like the slashing, bludgeoning, etc. And you, you know, the other way around. I can now actually remove rage. Fat. Yeah, it does go away on you. Yeah, cool. Rage goes away. I... Yeah, and then that's their turn. I then go over here and then we deal with that poor guy. Okay, so what's that? One, six? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, God. Uh -oh. Yes, indeed. Okay, so let's just do all the ones that hit. I think I might regret trying to help this guy. Right, so can somebody <laughs> want to add all of that up for me, please? Uh, 29, the first one. I'm pretty sure it's only the two. second one. Uh, 26, no, 16, the third one, and then 7. So, so is a group number? Because I didn't track out any of that. 76. Sure. Two yep. seconds. Let's see. One, two. Cool. So I think it's going to be cheeky. And I've done that again. 
because when you can, why wouldn't you, right? And it's going to take a lot less. I know, I got done complicated in my turns. And you're fighting yourself. Yeah, mine are complicated too. <laughs> you made yours complicated, and I made mine's complicated, and this is just the bed we live in now. Uh, okay, so that is... Okay, cool. He's not, he's not gone yet. Did he cast that yeah, yeah. last turn as well? Uh, yeah. So did he already have his plus 5 AC to defend from this one? Uh, no, so it only lasts um, until... Until the start. Yeah, no, sorry. Yeah. Because he's, remember, he's fought since then. Yeah. yeah which is where it fell off, yeah. Um... And that's why his reaction's gone again. That's what his red pip was for last time. Uh, right, that was all of them, which was nice. Uh, death saving throw, please, Cognac. And before you click the button, does anyone want to use inspiration on it? Such as Cognac. I do not have an inspiration. Well then. Um, where is the button? It's Nick, under your health. I see death saves. You click on the text that says death saves. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, a deer's oh. gone. Oh no. Failed to death save. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. So. No inspiration then. Nope. That's, mm -hmm. you can pip a success though, in one of your three success Done. lines. Nice. Not dead yet. I had this one dude not go down, by the way. What, sorry? Does that dude didn't go down, did he? No. Okay. I had wanted to um, move to here and push the guys into the oil and then light the oil on fire. Nice. Alas. What a shame. <laughs> yes. Uh, Alvin panics a bit, I guess. Ah. That's so unlike him. Hides in the bushes. In the bushes of love. What was his stealth roll? Uh, yeah, it's so stealthy, you Very can't even good. see it. Wow. He got a natural 40. <laughs> Alvin would tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's find out. There you go. There's Elven Troll. See? Natural 40. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, a dare. So, from where I am at the top of this mound, can I, I see the these two? Uh, those two. The ones just underneath me. Sorry, my computer's. No, that's okay, yeah. I... Um, that one definitely. I I think you need to move one over. To get that second shot. Yeah, to see both. Yep. Okay, um well I can only make one attack, so I will Yeah, shoot. you can shoot him anyway, so Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna shoot that guy. If it pinged on your computer, I don't know. It You'll have advantage on this one as well, because your stealth roll was baller, so Ooh, nice. Yay! I'm gonna try and help. And it is obviously within range, so yeah. Of baller rules. Mm. So I've clicked advantage, and because I am a roguey person, I'm going to do my sneak attack. Of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I Quite so. Sure that's on, and I click. A 23 hits, yeah. Yay! You're done. I'm taking your word as 23, because I can't see it. <laughs> yep, no, it does. As soon as. My computer wakes up. There we go. Uh, do my damage. 16. Not bad. Way. Respectable. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you're no longer stealth, but I'm going to leave the token on you because I'm assuming you're you going to try and hide. wisely. Yes. Yes. I'm a sneaky rogue. The rogue cycle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's what I do. I can't imagine what that's like. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and that is me. Cool, give me a stealth roll, buddy. Make sure you're marking off your crossbow bolts as well, I hope. Oh yeah, down to 16. Dear gods. Just 23s for days, Ooh. yeah. Rigged. Yeah, apparently. Just what? Did it show up? It did, yes. yeah. 23, 23. Oh, sorry, I've still got advantage. It's okay, it was 23 their way, so... Yeah. <laughs> As I said, guys, if you end up leaving those toggled on, it's not the end of the world, it just means I'm taking the first number and you'll be disappointed if, like, it was the 7 and the 23. Yeah. So don't leave it on <laughs> for your own, like, disheartening thing. Self, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yep. but, you know, I, I like playing the odds evenly. Uh -huh. That's the yep. kind of guy mm -hmm. I am. So, you know, 23 and 23, that's just how I roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, literally. Right, Tim. <laughs> Louder. You've got us. Uh, okay, how, how's this guy looking? Uh, that guy looks like he is um, using some kind of, I guess, vision distorting power to block attacks that people are punching into like invisible walls so okay. yeah but beyond that he looks like he's been stabbed many times by great swords okay this <laughs> movement's double right uh yeah so it'll be 10 to there 15 to there mm -hmm. yep that's what i'm gonna do oh good away um Use the horse as a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> like, see if this was like Wonder Woman, what you would do is you would just use your thorn whip to wrap around the corpse of the horse, or the carcass, sorry, of the horse, and then pull it into the group. Launch it, yeah. No, um, Screaming, strong so, and stable. Again, but adding a bit of flavour. Um, <laughs> with my quarterstaff, I'm going to sort of like whip it around my head and whip it forward and a, a, like a vine whip. A thorny vine whip grows out of the end of it. I see, I see. And uh, lashes at this dude. Um, yep, same did as before, yeah? Same did as before, yeah. Yep, cool. I whip my uh, hair back and forth, I whip my hair back and forth. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's actually the national anthem of a virus. You whip the horse. <laughs> well, that doesn't say anything, so. <laughs> A gasp of air comes out the lungs. How much damage yeah. do you do to the horse? <laughs> what? How much damage do you do? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's okay though, don't worry. Um, anything else? I'm going to drop the concentration on the... Um, entangle? Entangle. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to cast... Uh, healing Spirit. Okay, what's that do? Two. Uh, I'll pop it in chat for me. So yeah. You might wanna Okay. I need uh, all the text. Select all of it. <laughs> yeah. Spell is here here losing spirit. Okay. Um Okay, right, right, interesting. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Are we, are we cheeky level two number? Uh huh. Right, so you want, you want a five foot cube, you can see. Right. And I want it on. Hmm. I'm just going to put it on top of him. On him, right, okay. Yep. Right, he has a, a cube on him now. Doesn't seem that yep. way, but it does. What I can do is can Kay. I just tint it to be like some other colour that's somewhat noticeable? Um let's go for Nope, oh, it doesn't work. It's yep. Okay. Got... yep, and what does it do? And what's that... what's the gist of it? So I have four heals, four charges effectively of a heal with it. Uh when a target uh is starts its turn in it or moves into it, uh I can use no action to just heal that dude for 1d6. Let's see. Okay, so if it's a minute, it's 10 turns and entangles gone. So let me add this in. And it's a healing spirit. Okay. What does your healing spirit look like? 
Because it says um, a transparent beast or a fae of some kind. A little floating dancing fox. Okay, cool. Like some kind of almost like the way the snow foxes hunt. Yeah. The... Yeah, okay, cool. Just like prancing around his head. Okay, I'll dump this on. Got a couple of feet above him. Uh... Okay, there's some kind of weird Patronus around him. And, uh... Yeah. The spirit can't heal contracts for undead. The spirit can heal a number of times equal to one plus your spellcasting ability modifier, minimum of twice. What is your spellcast? Is that three probably? It right? is three, so that's yes, four. Four. I, after healing that number of times, the spirit appears a bonus action in your turn. You can move the spirit up to thirty feet. That's pretty nice, today, actually. I like that. Uh, yeah. What a great spell. Okay. I know, right? So, doesn't happen straight away though, right? It, it needs oh. to be on, on your on turn. On his turn. On his turn. Yes. Uh, let's see. When a friendly, whenever you or a creature you can see moves into the spirit space for the first time on a turn, or it starts its turn there. Perfect. There we go. Yeah. So basically, just by being at the thing, you get healed. Cool. Yep. Nice. Look at it. That wee fox giving away hit points. And um, that is my turn. Yeah. Cool. That was a good turn. Um, Shalili, Hawk, healing, <laughs> Seer. Thea. <laughs> Come uh, on down. I think um, Thea probably sighs, having just, like, first of all, heard this turtle scream. Seeing like that followed and vanish and then appear. Then, you know, the turtle collapsing. And then the thing that was, the big thing, turtle, that was blocking in between her and these two miscreants. Um. And now they're there, so she's going to sigh and she's going to stabilize her turtle friend with healing light. Let's, let's just look at what's I this. assume that works because it's a heal. Let's have a look. Here's what Thea's gone, gone through her head. Uh, oh, see, because I covered up the chat. I was like, that's exactly what's going through his <laughs> head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> yup. Mm. Mm. So I'm just uh, going to expend uh, one of my dice pools for that. Okay, so I'm going to use your bonus action. To my do bonus. To do, to do that. Okay. To do the thing. Bonus. Much does that give? Uh, so let it's me tell a you. d6 on the roll. Yes, I'm doing 1d6. Whoopa. Whoop, heck. Whoopa. And then tell us how this looks. Whoopa. I think as she sighs, um, that sort of like goldish light like appears like around her hand, and, and like a little ball appears, and then she kind of like grabs the ball, and it just dissipates, and then appears around Cognac, mm -hmm. um, and like the the sort of like healing light just goes, <laughs> gets there to this lab coat. <laughs> <That's Whoa. laughs> this is gonna be a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Boy. And, um, Wait, we can't differentiate between shell and beast. <laughs> so you can get rid of the skull and crossbones, and you can put yourself on three health, but you keep the boot. And you get rid of the success as well on the, the tracker, because it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, and then, and then he is going to disengage. Twenty up to the top. Keep in mind, then... right? So keep in mind, you look threatening because you have a giant demonic-looking great axe. I know I look threatening, <laughs> but not I, the giant like, cannon that the gnome summoned. I've been half, half health. <laughs> she's not looking too happy. Mm -mm. Not that you can tell because she's wearing a face, but mm -hmm. like, she looks unmoved. <laughs> yeah, she. Right, so you're going to disengage, so, and then you want to try disengage. and hoof it up gonna here. Move, move to the top uh, for 20, is it? Yeah. And then spend the rest to get to, like, there? Yeah, that's fine. Mm. And, like, I, I think, like, under her mask, she's, like, she's pretty angry looking. <laughs> Nobody can see that, though, so it's fine. No. Unless we're getting this kind of Iron Man in his armor type cut away with her. You know, the chaos, the chaos that, heads up um, display. <laughs> I think we're getting that, you know, that sort of like, um, maybe like half half the mask is transparent for the camera. Mm -hmm. And you see half her, her like eyes, like sort of 
glowing like a yellowish red in anger. But don't look back in anger, I heard you say. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, but I did. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I didn't hear it, so it didn't happen. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, I'm I'm vetoing this reality. <laughs> <laughs> eh, I mean, you know, I've heard worse. Um, like, That's a lot of Marvel references. Um, and that's it. Well, that's, I was literally about to. It was about to paste a GIF of a Marvel reference for Thea, looking at the <laughs> situation. <laughs> oh no! And that's her feeling into the darkness up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> if she had more actions, she would take them all, but she doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is uh, the multi-winded man? Um... <laughs> 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 to be fair, that was the guy in front of Thea for a bit when uh, Adair just walks up and just goes poof, poof, and slinks back into the trees or the, the bushes. Uh, right, okay, so he's got his reaction back, which is nice because he's probably going to need it when he gets stabbed a million times again. Um, I guess just since you keep whipping, like you're, a random elephant runs down the hill whipping a thorn thing over his head, back and forth, summoning <laughs> weird foxes. It's his turn. Do you want to roll what health he gets? Yeah. Um, my fox is going to jump and bound down and then kiss a wound on the dude's cheek and heal him. Oh, I see. Uh, a second. Oh, look at that. Boom. Look at that. There is healing. Nice. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Fucking that healing. I could have given him more, but that would have just used up more of my <laughs> dice. <laughs> and the my dice. My dice. The mine. Uh, yeah. Uh, the guy looks quizzically at the fox and then quizzically at you and then... The fox winks. <laughs> His nose twitches ever so slightly. Um, which is... Quite good because it doesn't really have much of a nose, so it has to be a slight twitch. And uh, all the more twitch. Then he uh, kind of shrugs his way into a beating on the guy diagonally down from him. So that dude there. So he's going to try and wail on that guy. Uh, and I'm going to find the right character sheet and push the right buttons. So whip at him. Mm. Mwah. <laughs> oh. Mwah. <laughs> How much is that? That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. 59. Nice. Apparently I just typed 16 equals into a calculator. So Nice. Can I give him advantage on his next attack? By the Hulk spirit, using my reaction. I, if that lets you do all that, sure. I, it does. That is Would you nice. like me to paste it? I, two seconds. 59. I need to do that just now. Yeah, this, this guy has just been. Like, has, any, has anyone ever seen in some kind of movie that is relatively realistic somebody kick someone's head off? Because I think that's what just happened. To that guy. I think you said realistically. I pictured everything that was non-realistic. Yeah, <laughs> like right. 80s B movie horror. Yeah, right. So I feel like he's maybe in like you know Evil Dead now or some shit like oh, that. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> I think it was too realistic. Yes. I like the idea right. that he kicked him, him so hard in the head that like his neck broke and like went mm -hmm. all the way back. Yeah, there was like... definitely a, a very loud crack noise, like a brief moment of thunder. Um. He spun his head 360. Mm-hmm. Oh, no scope either. Oh. But anyway, um, right, do you want to paste your hawk spirit for yeah. me now? And then delete whoever that, that last one is, because that's super distracting, because, dear God, she was so brave. <laughs> <laughs> well, she trusted him. him. Yep, that's such a past <laughs> tense statement now. Uh, Look at how happy she is before it. Cool. And after. So, 
he gets advantage on this next one, and it'll be against the guy straight down from him. I, thank you, this character sheet took a while to open there for some reason. I, for Blam. I, yeah! That it didn't help. help. No, it hits, yeah. It, it didn't help, though, but no. 36. Yeah, that one I could do, it was easier. <laughs> <laughs> thank it you. Just in case. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, that guy looks like he's, you know, maybe it was one of these, you know, front snap kick to the guy's neck to literally snap his neck. Then the other one was just him almost Russian dancing still, hopping to Nick's foot and booting the other guy. And then he quickly snaps it back out to kick the guy again, hopefully. This will probably have advantage on it and it shouldn't, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, what's that? 2031? Well, bam. Nice. And the guy kind of like clutches at his, his wounds a little bit and kind of starts breathing a bit heavily and kind of like looks up to kind of look at you guys and then looks around at the guy that's still next to him and he stands, you know, up straight and takes on his pose and he doesn't quite do the neo finger gesture to bring it because that's fucking it's cheesy. Googling neo uh, yep, yep, yep. gesture right now. So... <laughs> That is the end of his turn, and it is Flebite, the invisible. Hmm. So seeing the, the the turtle man fall down, probably be like quite shocked. Mm -hmm. and, like, these are things, but not loudly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I would like to sometimes characteristically. What's the thoughts here, Alexander? Sorry, um, I would like to move to here. I see, I see, okay. Mm -hmm. um, now, would I, I take it? So, do you want to map out that exact movement for me? Um, literally, directly? <laughs> oh, is that. Because it should be. No, no, it's, it's fine. The... I need you to measure. Right, so you want to go like that? Or do you want to go like that? It's important. Um, I think it's... Right, so everybody else, get all your arrows away. That's just, right, so you want to do that? Yeah. Cool, that's fine. You're definitely not no. stealthed. <laughs> what was that? You're definitely. I'm definitely not stealthed. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, are you doing anything as part of your movement, like a free action, dropping the sling that's probably in your hand, and then maybe I don't know, drawing weapons of some kind, or are you just literally running at them and seeing what happens? Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't used the sling in a while, I forgot I had it. <laughs> yep. Um, and you fell out of the tree uh, hole. Yes, so. the... <laughs> it's got the earth element lamel as well, yeah. Yeah, so, that's what I was wondering. <laughs> yep. So you can have got this far, drop the uh, the sling at your feet, and then as part of your move, draw a dagger, I'm assuming. Is that what we're we're attempting here. Yeah. Is it a are you two handing them or one handing them? Um can, do I have the movement to, to two hand? Yeah, so again, think of it like it is a warhammer or a like a, a walk like a quarter staff, sorry. You have yeah. the choice of deciding. I just need to know. Uh, yes, I'd like to take that out. Sure. Uh, when I was playing this, I was hoping that Theo would still be standing there, but she's not. Uh, 
Yeah, sadly not. Do you have inspiration at all? I or, do. I mean, you could always just give yourself advantage, right? Um, just to clarify, if I tick um, dodge, that just means that they have to roll disadvantage? Correct, if you took the dodge action, yeah. And I think you can do that as part of your cunning, is that right? Or is that not part of the cunning? Is that part of... No, 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 that would be an action. Okay, yeah, cool. Because yeah, dodge is pretty big, I think it's only monks that can make that easier on themselves. So, what's the thoughts here? All in with uh, weaponry, or I'm assuming you drew your weapons as well. Yeah, um, I I feel I'm I'm quite I'm quite worried about the the lizard thing. Um, I'm a bit annoyed that I fell out of a tree, so I'm just going to go all in. Sure, on the guy closest. Yep. Yeah, and okay. I'm going to use my advantage, uh, my uh, inspiration. Cool. Are you gonna? I'm assuming if you hit, you'll be using sneak attack as well. Well, well <laughs> if I hit. <laughs> okay, advantage, and then click on the bottom of the two, since that should be two-handed. The second one. That hits. And then I take sneak attack, and then yep. go to. Nice. Oh, and I'd like to use fu uh, Fury of the Small. What does that do? Um, um, so I can add... Um, Just paste it in. So there's a little speech bubble next to the red text title. There we go. So it just adds to me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, cool. So 13 total, yeah. Yep. Nice. Done. Um, does that um, dissipate my concentration? No, it's only no. if I get hit. It's only if you get hit. Yeah. It's only something else that requires concentration or if you take damage. Yeah. Cool. cool. Are you happy as is? Um, I guess I do still have my bonus um, could I um, uh, take use my bonus to hmm. I, I guess no it doesn't really matter yeah, no no that's fine you happy yeah you sure was that bonus to disengage or something? Was that what you were thinking? Yeah, but I guess I can only move like one space anyway, so... Uh, it depends. What is it that lets you use it as a bonus action? Right, and then do you not have cunning action or is that a level 2? Okay. That's level 2. Right, okay, cool, so. yeah. So we only be 5 feet away. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's up to you though, right? It just depends. Uh, okay, yeah, I would actually. Do you want to go one back the way? Like as in one down, yeah. is what I mean. Yeah, cool. There we go. So you, you get closer to the other flea bite, um, which I think you might be dumb enough to fall for, which is the funny oh, thing. Absolutely. <laughs> um, That's why I think it's so convincing. <laughs> um, yeah, like it looks exactly like you. What you don't realize is you only make it 2D for the way you face. Um, <laughs> let's see. Okay, cool. Yep, and murder o'clock. Oh. So, these two guys ran over, looked around, tried to get Thea. Thea just glowed with weird light and then ran up the side of a hill. Um, so they were probably distracted by the the light ever so slightly. And then one of them was stabbed in the back by a rat. Um, so, yeah, and I think that is why this guy is probably going to attempt what Thea did. Okay. Oh, I can't. 
that. Thanks for stopping. There we go. Perfect. He fails. Yay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, it almost did, given that my computer took a star. Um, <laughs> amazing. And yeah. He's going to go there. That's part of his move. And then he's going to look around and spot mostly you, Thea. Um, yep. And then. As expected. And then this is Bonus. Is it Bonus? Bonus? Bonus. The Bonus. This Bonus. The Bonus. He's then going to just go. Bip. To there. Oh. Oof. And then he's gonna Person go kid. whoopa whoopa. It's a low no. Speed. I know they don't hit don't worry. But how cool did he look? Um <laughs> and then the other one's gonna go after the rat because how dare the rat attack him. Um, okay, cool. Now Cognac, you need to learn if your aura still is on, which I don't think it is, right? I turned it off just in case. Um, I don't think it is. I think it's because remember you're unconscious and we're dying. So I think it's I think it's yeah. consciously needs to be on. You don't just stay sparking till the end it's of time. Emanate <laughs> magical aura whilst you rage. Yeah, so it would be gone as soon as you. Yeah, kill. That's fine. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna leave the aura on just purely based on nothing at all. Just just nothing at all. Because I feel like it. In case roll twenty breaks. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> And then, let's see. This is against you, Fleabite. As you could probably have guessed. Of course. Oh. Twenty-six. How much is it? Sorry. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Right. So. It's a down rat. <laughs> You don't take any, like you don't take half from any of that at all, do you? No resistances for flea bite. Okay. So. So I would have been on one if I hadn't fallen out of the tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely need to find a way to get climb speed, buddy. If you're going to climb trees, yeah. Um, Could be a good goal. Yeah, right. Get a climb speed. Uh, mostly just, I, I don't know, something that you wear. To let you claim. Um, right, was. so, yep, I swap out concentration for the. Yeah, there we go. Cool, just ditch that and I'll get rid of the second flea bite. Vwop. <laughs> Even he <laughs> did, is downed. <laughs> <laughs> um, it'd been great if that had actually been so powerful it worked against your teammates and they didn't know which one to heal. Like, just as like complete <laughs> slapstick. Um, Natural 20. Yeah, uh, and then I guess he's got one more attack. So you rolled a twenty-three. So he needs to even see if he's aware of you. Uh, where is his sheet? That's not his sheet. This is his sheet. Where is the button? He has not, so he's just going to go after Thea. Right, so he has used five to get to where he is. And then that is too much to get up there. So five, and then from there to there. Yeah, that's too much, so he can get there, he's going to use Misty Step to get up and walk over and then step here. Ow. I'll paste that in just so it's checkpointed and then last attack, wabam. Ow. I think that hits, that does hit. Whew. Oh jeez. Uh, that's a lot of damage. I think I'm dead. It's 13. I'm not, sure. not dead yet. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not dead, but I'm squashed. Right. Not, let me put the pips. Do all the pips. I think your axe disappears as well. Yes, it does. Oh. 
Oh dear. Wouldn't let me unpip it. And the boot. Uh, See what happens when Alvin can't make it, right? Somehow, yeah. the glue that kept the machine together. And I feel like that's the exact phrase I want to use. <laughs> Uh, right, yo. So, uh, I've got one dude over there. Let's just deal with that. So, wa bam, wa bam. And, wa bam. You get stabbed to some degree. 18, will I? <laughs> Thank you. I, I've already done that part, don't worry. I, I, can, I can do my nines. <laughs> nines were fine, like how I was able to math use damage. 18, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Um, and then I think that, I don't have, yep, that's them. They don't exist anymore. I, Cognac. You can, you've got what, 30 feet of movement, right? So you can stand up for half of that, leaving you 15. And you have a dying rat next to you. Um, can I do a medicine check on the dying rat? So, rat as an help? action, you can do a medicine check, and if you can get, I think it's literally 10 or higher, I think, um, you can yeah, stabilize them. Right. But you could always just trust the rat to fate and go and try and kill somebody. Um, I mean, I think I saw his sacrifice, and knowing he likes to spend time in trees, I would see it as something of a growing moment. And I would definitely not leave him to fate. Um, so, I would like to use half my movement to stand up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And stand, you do. I can find the pip. Mm -hmm. There we go. Um, and then I'd like to take a medicine check. I'll be... Ah. <laughs> Flea bite, you can remove the dying condition, but you don't you're still on zero health. Can you roll a D4 for me? Oh. In Yay. one hour, you will wake up with one health. Nice. I think that's the fourth natural one I rolled out of like five rolls. That's a good one though. I mean the oh, right. four hours. at least roll twenty is happy keep it consistent for flea bites luck in this world. <laughs> I just want to say on my attack roll, I rolled a one on my like damage. And it was only because I have a load of extra things that made it almost a, a decent one to have, like that. Mm -hmm. So has the medicine check used up my action? Yes, that is an action. Alright. Um, I don't think there's anything. So let's. If your shield should still be pipped on you, right? Because that's strapped to your yeah. arm, right? Yeah. And I'm nice oh, that way because that. Yep. Because I think if it takes an action to strap it to your arm, you get to keep it if you fall over. Um, mm. It's a strapping shield. Yes. Uh, it's actually glittery, I believe. <laughs> and now, as part of your remaining movement, you can scoop up your weapon you would have dropped when you fell unconscious. Because you need that free hand to medicine the rat. Can you can you see why I'm telling? I say all this this way because I want you to learn the action economy of everything. Like dropping stuff's a free action, except a shield, which takes an action to get on or off. And weapons can be dropped for free and picked up as part of a move, if you just need mm -hmm. to mess with different weapon types. Uh, he's struggling. My bad. Like to visualise that he dropped his weapon onto Fleabite to wake him and up. And ended the medicine check. Yeah, no, that was it. It was <laughs> the clear. Drops it. <laughs> yeah. Still got some residual I charge. Glad yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to see we're on the same page. Um, it's like for me, it's on like the fourth line next to the heart with the lightning bolt and the eyeball. Yeah, yeah. I literally it? saw it. Right, nice. he's in it. <laughs> Good. He's clearly Good. sharing a mind. Um, it's right here thinks into my head. You've got a, what, 15 foot of movement left, right? Yeah. And the rat doesn't seem to be dying now, so that's nice, right? That's nice. Nice bonding there. Um, 
And let's put it this way, has Thea, in the story, used her healing light of chaos to ever heal Cognac in the past? Mm. That's, that's, this is when Thea is meant to answer, because you're... Uh, I'm going to say no. Okay, cool. Mm. Okay, so I'm unaware. Yeah, I was going to say, you probably have no idea what's going on up there then. So really you look around and you don't see Alvin, you see Fleabite, you don't see Thea, you don't see Adair. I see Alvin's cannon. Uh, yeah. Can I use it? Nope. Okay. Aww. <laughs> Unfortunately not, because it, it works through his magic. So that's a real shame. It is a horrible shame. But even if it did, you'd still need an action to do that and you don't have one of those. You've only got a bonus action. But I, I could have made my way over towards it in preparation to Make him my way downtown. You could Body. make your way towards that guy's still alive. That guy's still alive. That guy's still alive and that guy's still alive. And unawares to you is this scenario. Yeah. So Well I think that's what I'll do. Okay. Um, yeah. Fifteen straight. Okay. But very limping. Cool. No bonus actions? No. Okay. Hey. Alvin is there. As we know. Hey. Waste of space doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Yeah, it's like Scott. he's sleeping on the job in character. <laughs> uh, but let's see. Oh man. Okay. So because Scott screwed every day over with the way combat works, he's gonna be cheeky and go out here, and he's gonna do this on flea bite. I'm just gonna yeah. scroll that. Down. Also, holy fuck pulse for a great roll that was. That is a lot <laughs> of healing. And then he's just gonna think that he's hiding again. I feel like you can, can add throw. 10, because he has rubbed some random green slime all over you, is how Scott described what his cure wounds looks like. So, oh God. You've, you're you're probably more matted looking than normal, or you're you styled your hair with gel. We'll never know. Um, but yeah. Still an hour away from waking up. No, not now that you've got health. So the way it works is because you're stabilized, it doesn't grant health. Healing does though. Yeah. Um, but it at least makes him useful in this particular fight to some degree. A deer. If right. you make any movements, you will be spotted. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> From your bush. Because I'm right <laughs> next to the guy. <laughs> but, right, you could get a nice advantage hit off of him, right? But keep in mind that you probably did just witness Thea go down to, like, random yes. teleporting ninjas. So these teleporting ninjas, I'm standing right next to one, I'm going to pop up out of my bush and I'm going to get his attention by calling my hideous chud and I'm going to attack with my rapier. I would suggest you attack with the rapier first, then call him the hideous yes. chud. Yes, no, 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 I was okay. just about to say that. Because <laughs> one would negate the stealth bonus. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Don't worry, he can't, he can't get an opportunity. Chud. So he can't oh, get I mean. an opportunity so, attack on me. So currently you've got like your hand crossbow. So you're going to draw your rapier mm -hmm. or whatever it is you have, which is probably a uh, rapier. Rapier, yes. Mm -hmm. So you draw that as part of your um, move, which is fine. And then you mm -hmm. take advantage, and then take stab at the or whatever. It's just called rapier. So I'm just waiting on my computer okay. again. I just want people to get into the habit okay. of understanding what they need to do on their turns as action mm -hmm. economy because. That's why certain feats and such exist to improve such things. 
It also goes D and D hates there people being cool. <laughs> Um, well, I think my laptop definitely hates me trying to do anything. So I'm trying to get advantage to tick. There we go. Um, I'm also going to be using my sneak attack. Well, you can decide uh, if you hit. You don't. You don't need to. Like, you don't get to waste it. it it's not wasteable that way. Ah, okay. It's only um, if you hit. Case. Which is nice. That's why I make sure it doesn't auto roll damage on these things. Because um, ah, right. I like the idea that you didn't need to use it, if that makes sense on a hit, which still adds to mm -hmm. the mystery. Um, and that hits, yeah. Does it? Cool. Yeah. Uh, so if I've hit, I'm also so going to use my sneak attack. Yep, to tick the dude, and then... Tick, and then go to rip here. Make sure to add it all up. Nice. Nice. And the exact reason is, in this example, where you only needed 10 to do that guy Ooh. in, but can you now see why, if you got to auto roll the damage, you then would just not mm -hmm. use sneak attack in that scenario, but you need to decide before you roll damage because that's mm. a, yeah. It's, it's more important when you have multiple attacks because it's about the risk involved. Um, much like how shield should work, the spell that is, where I roll my secret dice and say I'm rolling to hit you, and then I go, oh cool, I've hit you. And then you go, hmm, will I cast shield? Will I take the risk? What if it's more than five of my AC he's hit by? Hmm. And that's the risk of all. Whereas I don't care for the, the online version. I'd rather just open, like, roll openly for it. Uh, right, so that is your action. Um, yep, so that was my action. And uh, so you just, he is dead. How do you kill him? Yeah, like, you just appear. Um, hmm. So I appear out of the bushes. I uh, have my rapier to hand and. I call him a hideous chud and I drive my rapier straight through his chest. So I think the other guy sees the blade first as it stabs through the guy's chest and then just hears you mutter something he doesn't understand, obviously. Um, in, the, in the way sure, of... He'll sure, understand sure, soon. Sure, sure. <laughs> and then uh, sure. that guy collapses at your, your feet and... Okay. I'll unpip your stealth for you because you are no longer stealth. Yeah. <laughs> but nicely done. Um, uh, any bonus actions oh. or anything? I else? like it, is what I said there. Sorry. Ah, okay. That was me. Excellent. I um, appreciate the inclusion. I'm just checking because that guy is too far away to do an opportunity attack. Um, on my fancy footwork does not come into play here. Um, you try to hide in the bush and hope he doesn't yeah, just stab you like... in the bush. <laughs> in the tree. Um, you I, have some move, I've, right? So I've got movement. Yeah, I've not used any. Um, I might. So, like, see if you went like somewhere like here, right? Or like there, somewhere mm -hmm. there, right? I'd let you move there and roll hide, and it would be less than just totally obvious. Obvious, yeah. Right, because you're running into some foliage, right? But mm -hmm. it's not going to be great, but it's something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so like the idea got... of popping up and then just waving your hands in the air and crouching back down like you did. <laughs> um, I believe... You can always just levitate what? up if you had the action still. Just, bye! <laughs> I do, but I'm going to save that one. Yeah. Um, oh, decisions, decisions. You know what? I'm going to nip around the tree, mm -hmm. uh, as you said, and I'm going to try and move around there and yep. then do a sneak. Cool. I don't do know if my character has. That's moved. fine. Yeah, yeah, you moved. Yep, you're there. You moved. Cool. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'll reopen my thing. Derby sneak. I'll do a stealth. So basically, just appear, kill the guy's friend, call him a chud, and then just like <laughs> Homer Simpson back ha -ha! into the and then run away. <laughs> the hedge. <laughs> and nice. Hopefully, you can see that. <laughs> Another try to twenty. Play the odds. Did it? Nice. Yep. To say that they don't have twenty twenty because they didn't see that. Oh my. <laughs> Whoa! That's so terrible. Jeez. That was awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh sorry, I've got that bloody It's fine. It's tech. twenty or twenty. Wait, I've got two... What? Just like the twenty two and twenty three. Maybe your yeah. tech issues give you that kind of bonus, which is not the worst to be honest, if they're decent rules. Definitely um, not, yeah. Advantage or disadvantage, <laughs> it's gonna be normal anyway. <laughs> so louder so, Right, because I think you're done now, movement wise and action. Yeah, I right? am yes. Cool. Uh, so 
Yes, indeed. So. First thing I'm going to do is run to here in that exact pattern. I see. Sure. Quash, yeah. Quash, quash. I, let's move you to the front. Cool. Go. Cool. So you can stand on the corpse. Squelch. As I run, uh -huh. you get the feeling I'll see this dude. Yeah. Looking pretty beaten up. As he's just like marching forward with his weapon in one hand and his shield in the other. Clutching As I see knee. him looking pretty beaten up, and this guy actually looking pretty okay considering he does not look okay. Dude. Well, he really does he doesn't. look better than him? Uh, proportionally, no. no. Does the fuck kissing him look like it changed much? Uh, <laughs> currently, he's had. Right, does anybody know offhand roughly just how many stab wounds that guy has had from great swords? So uh, maybe like twenty dozen. Yeah. So yeah, like assume. Yeah, assume at least twelve great swords has stabbed him. Okay, he, how's this guy looking? Uh, I mean, he looks pretty good. Yeah. You could always try grapple him. <laughs> hmm. Pushes him back to session one with the earth elemental. <laughs> Put him into the oil. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know what to do. Okay, so he isn't actually Wonder Woman. Okay, I know we Part joked about that. Part of me wants to make the fox run towards him. Hmm. But it's like... But half it's the rest of me wants me to just leave it there. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like increments of what? Not much, isn't it, as well? I don't think. Yeah. I'm just going to leave it there. And then I'm going to shillelagh attack this dude. Uh, sure. Uh, okay. Don't just paste shillelagh in again for me. 17, maybe. 17. Okay, cool. Oh, so I need to do 1d8 plus 3. It's a wisdom modifier. Top of the dead. Nice. Okay, so... You need to hit first, buddy. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. So, so, oh, I said all so, that. Uh, so the attack roll is going to be slightly different, right? Because your strength is what? What's your mod for strength at the moment? Yeah, but it uses my wisdom your... instead. Uh, I've asked a question. What was my strength is minus one? Okay, cool. So you could just roll that and add up the difference, or you could just roll a d20 and type all the numbers in. Since I already had it typed. Cool. Uh, so that misses. Nice. I. Uh... Uh, Does it? Um, one second. Imbued for the blah 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 blah. Are you proficient with these? With the weapon. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, does that include that, or did you not bother? I didn't know. Oh man, see. So yeah. that should be plus five. Yeah. So it should be a seventeen. Okay. D don't say okay. Tell to confirm. Yes, of course you're right, yeah. Ryan. Yes, it should be. <laughs> Yes. So I'm just reading my sheet to yep, see why. Yep, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Until you hit a certain level, which I think is five, it's a plus two as your proficiency, and then yep. it goes up to a plus three. Yep. So that would be seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not always mm -hmm. a seventeen. So. Yes. 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 So what you're saying is you weren't ready. Let's just have there. If you're going to use shillelagh a lot, maybe you need to build yourself a shillelagh attack. Um, a shillelagh. Yeah, um, so seventeen hits is why it's important. Okay. So I uh, roll again, or I'll just use that one that's there. No, you just use that one, right? Yep. Yeah, because that's still all legal. You just didn't add the extra two on. So okay, so I just use the nine down. Yeah, cool. You can just I don't mind if you roll it because it's still all in the one. Cool. Just gonna bonk him on the head. With yep. My stick. With your big spiky stick. Yep. Done. Nice. And hit he was. Indeed. Doesn't, doesn't look too happy. And I shall end my turn. Flip, flap, shabadoo. See ya. <laughs> Let's do this. Natural 20, baby. Shaboom! That's a fail. <laughs> oh. On the plus <laughs> side. There's a 2 and a 0 there somewhere. So, the problem is now, right, for all those wonderful folks at home. If Thea now rolls a 1, that counts as 2 fails. Anthea is d -d 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 dead. D -d 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 <laughs> this dude has a heal, right? 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> After running away. The blowy rogue has no heals. <laughs> um, Is he not? I'm sure he healed you in the other fight. He stabilized um, uh, in the last combat. Uh, okay. So. Uh, Thea ain't doing so well. But that's uh, fine. Everybody's okay. abandoned Thea, so that's fine. Get you there You're in three turns. You, you can't see it anyway. <laughs> no. You can't see how badly she's dying, or how well I should say she's dying. She's dying very well. She's doing it gracefully as fuck. <laughs> Did you say both dying? <laughs> this dude moved to here. <laughs> what? Super fast. <laughs> so. Let us see. So it's this dude. Yeah. I'm gonna heal. Yeah, cool. Do so. Fox is gonna jump down and kiss him on the other cheek. It's very uncomfortable by this, and he looks at. It's gonna look like this. <laughs> are you just? Are you like just? Have you just got like a whole thing of like? Of course it boxes. is. Boxes. I've just got ready for this face now. Oh, it's so cute. I know. It does look like it's attacking him though. Like. It doesn't mean it, but it's a kiss. Do you want to roll the healing yeah. for me so I can heal them then? <laughs> Thank you very much. Not bad, not bad. Uh, well, it might confuse him. He's not exactly feeling the worst. Uh, I love the image of this little like, white ethereal fox just dancing around his head and just up and down every six seconds to give him a kiss. As he's trying to punch Very his way through it. Yeah, he's like trying to punch and kick his way between this stupid fox thing, trying to heal him. He's not even been aiming at the other guy, he's been aiming at the fox as well. And I'm going to give him an advantage on his next attack. Uh, yeah. Okay. Spirit. Sure, cool. You can do so. Uh, in that case, then. I've got more to do in his turn than mine. Oh, sorry? I said I've got more to do in his turn than my turn. I mean, that's sometimes the job of like a support character slash tank yeah. slash DPS. That's, you know, druids, right? Um, right, so he's got advantage on this? Yep. Cool. He's going to use this instead then. Cool. Does this hit? It does. Nice. That guy's dead. Oh, <laughs> what? What? That's a lot of damage. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. Danger! Wow! Does that guy just get blown up? Just his face, just his whole body, just disintegrates. So yeah, <laughs> I need to do no save because <laughs> he did. What does that look like? Uh, uh. I'll describe it in a second. Uh. In fact, I, th I think he might actually just not be there anymore. Why did just bonk him on the head with a stick? And then this guy just like punches him forward <laughs> through time, right? Um, Turns to dust. A shadow realm. And like, yeah, and then the guy just like flickers into like various versions of himself, all echoing off the original body, and then all of them like aging rapidly. Um, and then he just dies at the sheer horror of all of it. And then, eh. Uh, the humanity! Yeah, right. And he then, gets, then like, he appears back and, like, falls over dead. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, right. So. Eh. Uh, no. There's still one to go. This guy looks at you louder. Mm -hmm. Kind of like motions to the fox with like his, his head, nods gently. Um, I nod back. I was not. He points at the, the boy mm -hmm. Look and just looks at you. Um, and then. Can he do anything to get over there? Cool. He's gonna start heading over that way. He just sprints away. Nice, okay. A sprint is maybe really, really generous to how badly beat up he is. 
Um, but yeah, he's climbing a cliff. So <laughs> yeah, he's 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 kind of climbing. Yes, uh, flea bite. Just sort of wake up. Covered, covered in slime. Is it thing thing? Just like look over and see that he's, he's actually alive as well. Like, it's actually a surprisingly good development after I got um, taken out. Okay. Um, can I pick up? Oh, I guess I have to use half movement to get up. And then can I pick up my uh, yep. sling? So pick up your sling, sorry. That's what I dropped, wasn't it? So technically, you've dropped your daggers where you are, oh. and your sling up here. Um, yeah, well, I guess I'll pick up my daggers first. Cool. Just then pick up my sling. Now, if you move. To pick up your sling, that would take an action to pick up, because you've already picked up something as part of your move. You can now see why it's really crippling, can't you? Yeah, uh, that's, that's okay. I mean, sort of how I'm seeing is that I can't see anything particularly damaging left. So. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I suppose you did know that there were there were two people here. Is very generous to imagine that I can count to two. That is true, actually. Uh, you could always do an intelligence save if you wanted, but. I, I would definitely feel that. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's maybe worth it. It's up to you. If you feel like you would like to be able to think that way or not, I don't mind if you want to do that. I, I feel like it's just. Um, He's, he's not that bothered. He can't see it. It's like object mm -hmm. permanence. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Probably fine. can't see it. It's not really a problem. Mm -hmm. Sure. So I just move here. Pick up my your sling. Pick up my sling and can I put my sling away and keep my daggers out. Sure. Uh, and then I guess I have ten. Left or yeah, yeah, close enough. So you're heading back there. There's nothing obscuring enough in this little chunk of rest that I can hide. <laughs> no, there's nothing where you are currently, sadly, to hide with. Then no, that's fine. I just just try and start walking back over to. to Could always jump in the grease. That's a slippery slope. Okay, if that's you, then this guy. I guess I'm just gonna make. A check for him to see if he can find our hidden is it crouching Janassi um, hidden rogue no he ain't finding shit it really isn't uh, which means right so we can move right so if he goes there and there he's then searching right so I'm gonna move him there and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to roll a d8, right? And we'll see what he gets, right? So if you imagine this, and I'll, I'll draw this so that it's a bit easier for people, right? Uh, right. If that's the area he assumes you've run into, 
Mm-hmm. Right? He knows you're not in that top corner. Where he is. Where he is, or in the one mm -hmm. that's empty, with no cover mm -hmm. of any kind, right? Yeah. So, no and no, which means I'm going to roll a d8, and I'm going to re-roll if I land on two, right? So, mm -hmm. one, two, technically I'm going to re-roll if I land on three, right? Mm -hmm. Four, five, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, cool. So, I'm going to roll a d8, and I'll re-roll on the ones that he knows you're not in, and we'll see if he can find you, right? Because he knows you're in there somewhere, he just doesn't know where. Okay, okay. Bam. Nope. So he goes to one, two, three, four, five, which is good for you. Mm -hmm. right, let me just get rid of some of this nonsense. So he goes there while he's searching for you. Now, because he's right next to me, do I get an opportunity attack? Because he's no, right there making a lot of noise <laughs> going through the bushes. No, because he hasn't yeah. left your turn. That only works if they leave your threat range. Ah, is that what it is? Right. Yep. Pathfinder have it if someone moves within a square you threaten, which is quite different. Right. Um, I thought you called him a crescent oh. there. <laughs> <laughs> How very dear. Uh, Watch before your path, your cretin. So he's looking around and he can't really do anything else, to be honest. Um, I don't even think he's, he's too busy looking for you, so he probably doesn't even spot him through all the trees and bushes and stuff. So That's cool. Yeah, I think he's just there looking for you. Um, yeah, that's what he's doing. And we can just say he spent his turn doing that. I think what we'll do is we'll take our break here because we're a bit over. I wouldn't have minded finishing combat, but we'll just pause combat here. We'll take our break and I'll see everybody at, let's just say, 25 past nine. So... 925 and say goodbye everybody. Goodbye, goodbye everybody. Goodbye everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.